loses it. Marquis right to steal. He was right against two. Takes it himself to the rim. No good. The follow. Brett Bisping is there. Into the front court. Hands it off for Bisping and takes it back. Dribbling at the top of the key with 15 to shoot. Finds Poole who looks inside for Brett Bisping who goes off the backboard and scores. To squeeze off a shot. The Saints leading score averaging 14.8 a game. Now he will for three and he nails it. 23 seconds to shoot, long, given the free throw line, kicks it out to Brandwick, who will try for three, and nestles it in there. The six foot eight. Defensively for Siena, that's just too easy. Cole spinning on the block, finds Ogan Yemi cutting to the rim, bucket and the foul. Picks up a number one with his right hand, Oliver catch and shoot, set play to set up number three, who buries. Finds Cole spinning himself, now tries the right hand, not there, had it swatted away. But Rob Poole finds it, kicks it back out to Cole. The shot clock did not reset, so it's at 10 seconds. Sienna, a little discombobulated at this point. Cole might try and do something himself. Finds Marquise right with two seconds to shoot. Jump shot from seven. The Bobcats a chance to take the lead. Cassie sneaks a peek at the iron. And leaves it for Ford Jr. into the game for the first time, recklessly to the rim. The ball squirts out of bounds. It will stay with Quinnipiac. Right with the block. Laughing for some reason. That never looked good. Long rebound to Ogunyemi. Now Himes. Wright leaves it off for Himes. Another one for three. And no matter how tight the rim is. Cole spins away from Chandler into the front court. Beats Chandler a second time. Long strides, then feeds a wide open Ogunyemi. Ogun it is the starting five for the Saints, including JV on Ogunyemi, who takes the pass underneath, goes up and Gets behind the defense, right all alone, right off the glass with the left hand, misses the layup, rebound by Long, right tries a five foot jump shot for the pool on his left, Bisping on his right, goes to Bisping, dribbles into a double team, dribbles out of it, finds a cutting Rob Poole, and that's an easy two points for the Siena senior captain. That's beautiful. Siena four or five shooting in the opening two and a half minutes of the second half, and a turnover, Siena, here they come, it's Bisping terrorizing the lane, two points and one. That is textbook. On for Siena, and Poole has it back in his grasp. Long passes on a three-point try. Now it's out to Marquise Wright. Siena will settle into its offense. Here's Long, flashes, tries for three. Dead on! <laughs> <laughs> Levon, give me a little bit. <laughs> Siena trying to extend a 16-point lead with Long. Misses, second chance. Ogunyemi not there. Ogunyemi gets his own rebound. <laughs> Muscles his way back up and scores. The Quinnipiac, now back to the game. The Saints are flying at the Times Union Center. Up inside the arc. Spins around his left shoulder. Traffic underneath. Kicks it out to right. Who will try for three and gets it. I wondered where Bits Pool. And a two on one. Right in pool. Right to the rack. It was in the cylinder. And Bisping knew it. Goaltending. Poole with the steal, ahead to right, right all alone to the glass, scores, and tack on the foul. And then Conti picks up a personal. Marquise Wright with a chance to make it a 15-point game. Love service. Call us today at 459-6123 or visit us on the web at The shot clock is off. Rob Poole, full length court pass to Ryan Oliver, who lays it in, and Siena gets to 88. Home win of the season. The Saints are going to go to 1 and 0 in conference play with a dominating win of a good Quinnipiac team. Final score at the Times Union Center, 88 to 67. Very impressive today in the second half, especially. I thought the Saints, under some tough circumstances, with foul trouble really came through in that second half. Had players like Cole and Brandwick step up throughout the game today to handle this aggressive Quinnipiac team. Game was back and forth the entire first half. Siena led by two points at halftime, but then just opened it up in the second half. Went up by as many as 21 points about six or seven minutes into the second half, and that will be the final margin. A 21-point win for the Saints. 88 to 67. Lucius joins us. Congratulations, coach, on the victory. And 
Let me start by asking you what was said at halftime because the team came out on fire to start